Hey, this is Brad Gill, and on this episode of our Lifestyles Local Business Spotlight, we're gonna check out the best place in Willow Glen to get a California cab. And I'm not talking about ordering a taxi here. Hey Bert. Brad, how you doing buddy? Great, good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks so much for having us come in and check out your wonderful wine store. Absolutely. So, Word in the Glen is that you have a pretty amazing selection of California wines here. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your shop as well as some of the history of the Joseph George Wine Company? Sure. Started by my grandfather in 1940, so I'm the third generation. We specialize all California wines. We have property up in Napa. We have a little vineyard, so we kind of, I like to say we bring Napa to San Jose to the Glen. You'll see, it's uh, all Napa, all Sonoma Coast, and good California stuff. So with that much history and passion for wine, if someone's new to wine, not experienced with it, how would you go about kind of helping them and assisting them? So we love to hold hands. When you walk into the shop, we wanted to bring wines at a very high level to everybody. So when people come in off the streets, neighbors, family, friends, we like to just guide them through. And like I said, we kind of hold hands and we'll tell you all the stories and uh, kind of find out where you are in the wine world and where you want to be and uh, match maybe your menu with our wines. That works out really well. And that's the funnest thing to do because it's it re-energizes us and it's discovery for them to show them new wines. We've been in business 81 years. We make friends here, you're friends for life, your neighbors, your, your family. Very true true. I've been coming to the store now for at least over a decade, for sure. Now, beyond the amateur, someone who's new to wine, you have a lot of avid wine collectors that come in yes. here that are very experienced. Tell me about how you go about catering to someone who's very experienced in wine. So that is uh, where my expertise comes in and Ruben's expertise comes in. We have tasted 99% of the wines in the shop. So not only can we tell them the taste profiles of the wines? We could tell them everything about the winemakers, everything about the vineyards, because we've either been to the vineyard, they've been here, we taste the wines. So even if you're the collector's collector, we uh, have things locked up in the back that will fit anybody's program. We've done wine cellars actually across the country for some important people, some not important people, just people that want some really cool cellars done. And so we'll actually go to their homes, stock a cellar for them, tell them what, where, why, and when we did that, and they'll enjoy it for years to come. Now that we're approaching the holidays, can you tell us a little bit more about some of the special gift wines or the etched bottles or any special gift baskets that you've prepared for anyone who's coming in here looking for a last minute gift? Absolutely. So that's one of our specialties that my wife and one of her best friends does. So we have these beautiful gift baskets and gift boxes that we do every year and we send hundreds of them out throughout the United States and actually throughout the world. It's kind of fun. It's been very popular. People absolutely love to get the, the Joseph George box. You also have community programs that you give back to the community with. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? What really spurred us on was a few years ago when we had the first set of fires in Napa was 2017. That was the real bad fires that uh, went actually right in front of our place. It burned from Silverado Country Club all the way to the Yountville Crossroad. That's the intersection of my street where our vineyard is. And you can see the fire going all the way across. My daughter has a foundation. It's called the Brit George Foundation. And we activated that foundation to raise money for the people that really needed it, kind of as a safety net for the people that didn't have enough insurance. And it, it was just a disaster. So we, in two hours, raised $55,000. And my wife and I were able to go to Napa and Sonoma, just write checks to people. Very gratifying to write checks to somebody that just lost their house, car, or whatever they needed. Exactly. Yeah, pretty devastating fires and a great way to give back to the community. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, Bert, I really enjoyed the opportunity to come in here and showcase your business and what you're able to do and give back to the community. If someone's looking to come in here and find the perfect California wine, can you tell us what's your location and about your business hours? So we have kind of unique hours. We're calling ourselves a wine boutique nowadays because we have very short hours, but we're here Wednesday through Friday, 1.30 to 6. And you can see me or you can see Ruben and we'll take good care of you. Fantastic. Now, maybe Bert will let us open a bottle of wine and do a little bit of tasting. Absolutely. 